Hey guys, and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol. When we last left off, we just made it to this weird, gribbly ass sewer. Uh, also, I found out why the text and everything was really weird here. Apparently, we had um, oops, AMD upscaling on for some reason. I don't even have an AMD card, so I don't know what that was about. That must have happened after the update. Right, anyway. <sighs> This is not great. We're literally down the crapper. Without a paddle, actually. Oh, hello. You alright, buddy? Not sure what you're doing around here. I wouldn't personally be so proud of the fact that I'm hiding in the sewers. Ooh. Ooh. That was... Not bad, actually. Alright, so that extra power hit is quite nice. I'm a fan. Oof, look at all this pipe work and stuff. Ugh, sir. <laughs> we literally have shit all round our hands. I thought this game was looking fuzzier, you know. I just thought it was the update. Well, I mean, technically, I guess it was the update. <laughs> Putting um, AMD upscaling on for some reason. I mean, if you've got an AMD card, sure, I guess. This is probably the grimmest. Oh. I guess he's still alive. Yeah, there, fella. This is probably the grimmest um, sewer section I've ever seen. What was that? It looked like a chicken or something. A big oversized chicken it just appeared and inhaled him. Are we going to have invisible enemies? What is it with games and invisible enemies? We don't like invisible enemies. Oh, hello. Entry 21C. Guards on rotation. I've got to make this quick. There's a pipe. Needs to take six years. I don't see the access. I've got to find a way inside. Well, I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure. We'll find something to get through that door with. What have we got? Nice. Energy converter, credits, and a health injector. Uh, I mean, technically, we're going to probably have to come back here. So, we'll leave that health injector there. What? Um, we've got two health injectors. Sure, keep them for now. Hello. You know what? Have some of that. Now, can we still grind? Oh, we can. Still grind them up when they're attached. Interesting. Good to know. So, where are we going? Somehow, we need to get up through here. Ah. Another good old pipe section, I guess. There's a glove there. Might need it. Probably won't need it. But remember what that sign said? Back along. Need to wear the correct PPE. Uh, 
Oh, at least all that shit's off our arms now. <sighs> yeah, this place crawls. Let's see if we can stab some dudes in the back of the head. Ah, oh, look, we've got these postules everywhere, which is making me think. Probably somewhere. Oh. That was something different. Yeah, I guess we've got these head tentacles somewhere then. Every time we fire the gun, the game just stutters. It's so weird. I mean, I always say this is like whenever we play a game that really is performing badly. Like this is the worst performing game we've ever played. And, you know, give it a few weeks or months and something will come out that will be worse. It is going to take some beating to be worse optimized than this game, though. Oh, what the hell is that? Looks like a giant dick. I think we just detached its nutsack. That was weird. Alright, whatever. So we have giant cock monsters hiding. Oh, well, wouldn't be the first time. I mean, that looks like an arsehole or something. Now some of these have items in them, but it seems to be like extremely rare that these uh, have anything in. Well, that had a big piece of meat. Unless this is going to be like a stalker type enemy that's now going to chase us around. You know what? Seems it likes to get up close and personal. Let's switch over to the shotgun. Ooh, we got a new voice log. It's been a while. Um, can we not just have like a simple scrolling list? Who did we get? Unknown. Who did we just pick up? Him? Did you see that? Fun. Yeah, so we already had that one. Um, would possibly be nice if right it's got to be here ah oh, it must have been him is that a guard? yeah it is a guard okay yeah uh, they probably should highlight when you get a new one because you've got so many pages and so many names and yeah just oh am this all amateur stuff not good right so this door needs two fuses to open we found one okay doesn't appear to be anywhere else to, ah what's this bullshit over here oh there's lockers here ammo sure more ammo sure and again we're out of inventory space oh, what 
bullshit. You can't toss anything either. Like, you know, most games you can kind of filter through your inventory and throw away. You can always find something that you don't need. Some bit of shit that you're just hauling around. Oh, hello. But this game, like, everything is useful. Oh, hello. Nope. None of that. Okay, that's disappointing. So you can't... Sadly. You can't um, throw them against the wall, stun them, and then mash them with your boot. Doesn't work that way. Which is disappointing. Okay, he just floated across the floor. When he was dead. I mean, that's... Probably normal, right? Cool. So, we've got some power on. What does that allow us to do? We've got a door there. Which we can't really do much with. Somewhere, there has to be another power core. But... We can't read. Oh, hello. Yeah, see, that's where we need the second power core to go, but we don't have a second power core. Unless we can go down. No, we don't want to go down into that funk below. And that's got nothing for us. Uh, right, okay, well. Can we go on top of this pipe? Nope. That must have powered up something. Something that we can do. Somewhere that we can go. Surely. No. Alright. What are we missing? Must be missing something. Guess this guy didn't have anything else for us. Guess not. I mean, this is lit up green over here, so. Unless. Let's just whip this one out. Oh, we can't. Figures. I was going to say, if we could take that out, we could try it in the other one, see if that did anything interesting, but I guess not. Can't climb up there. Um, are there any vents that we can rip off? Maybe we missed something back here. I don't think so. Ah, wait. Was there a... There might have been a power core back here, actually. Thinking about it. I can't remember. I suppose it doesn't cost us anything but time to go back and look. Alright, so there's... Potentially we could just jump up here actually and grab the health kit that we left. Oh, and the ammo. Now we've picked up the ammo, we can't hold the health kit. Of course. Now, if I was... Oh, hang on. What's up here? We didn't see this. I mean, you guys probably saw this, but I didn't. Because I am a stupid ass. Oh, wow. This rabbit hole goes quite far. And if there's going to be any gribbly bastards up here. Probably. Well, where am I going? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping... We're going to be going somewhere good. Ah. Oh, shit. All the stuff. All the stuff that we can't carry. Ah. <sighs> Why not, eh? Okay, I genuinely thought we might find a power cell up here. But I guess not. 
Or maybe because no. Huh. Alright, well. Scratch that idea then. Now wasn't any power cells back there, was there? Not that I can think of. Hmm, alright. Back we go. So we can remember. Not that it looks like we actually need to come back here. Oh, actually we do. But there's some shotgun shells for our pistol thing back here. Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to remember something like that. Okay. So what are we missing here? We can't get in the water. Wow. Ah, generous calling that water. We can't do anything with that. Oh. I mean, we can pick up that head, but there's no point. Okay, I was being stupid. Apparently, I had already picked up the second call without realising. <laughs> that was weird. Not sure how I picked up the second call. Okay. Let's keep going. You need to keep following that red pipe. Yep. Red pipe, the one covered in blood. Ooh. That looks fun. Right, so the red pipe goes down that way, which leads me to think this is not the way to go. So, let's have a little poke around. in this room. Might find some more goodies. Might find a way of expanding the inventory. <laughs> God, I need to expand this inventory. It's driving me slowly mad. Not even that slowly, to be honest. Pretty rapidly now. Most people like food. Yeah, I think that's a fair assumption. Although, food is apparently expensive. Like 20... Drink so hot you'll lose weight, apparently. Alright. Uh, inventory full. So we've got another secret room full of stuff that we can't pick up because of our small puny inventory. Look at this. Look, there's like a loot box here. Access hall. There has to be. There's even a thing here saying print stuff. But we can't print stuff because there's no printing machine here. <sighs> yeah, this is not this is not great game design at all. Nice. Well, it's not that nice, is it? Because our inventory is so full of stuff, we can't use any of it. Like, what a waste of a room. 
What a waste of the player's time. Surely there's a print station around here somewhere. That just leads us back here. I mean, I guess we could potentially. Actually, I don't think we can even go all the way back, can we? Are we going to find like a print station down here somewhere? I mean, ah. Uh, like, finding loot and items is supposed to be, like, a really satisfying experience. It's supposed to get you hyped and excited for finding all this cool gear. But there's no excitement or interest or mental reward for finding anything in this game because you can't do anything with it. Like, I'm not sure how they got the loot system so wrong like why even bother having it alright so there's loads of shit in there unless there's like a secret printing station around here but then the trouble with that though is you've kind of got a long way to backtrack but whatever, I guess. And just with a couple of gameplay tweaks, they could have made this so much more fun. Oof. And there is something there. I guess we'll just destroy the big ones. Oh, cool. Look at all this stuff again that we cannot pick up. Why? I can just... I mean, are we just not using enough supplies? That's gribbly. That's locked. Ah. So we're gonna like cycle something now. Right. Okay. So that's the workshop. I'm guessing. The workshop's got a print station, surely. I mean, the definition of a game blue balls in you. Okay, so now we can unlock the door from the other side. Uh, so there's our print station. Alright, that's not... I mean, it's annoying enough. It could be worse, I suppose. Right, let's the is yours. sell some stuff. We need to sell that. Oh, but even then, we only have... <sighs> Oof. Okay, what we'll do... What we'll do, we will... I guess just drop that and drop the two bullets and then we'll go back and get our loot definitely get the feeling we're going to be attacked on the way back because there was something moving in this water at least I'm sure there was <sighs> alright I'll play your game. Uh, actually, let's go back and get the stuff further back first. We've got to slowly, painfully trudge all the way back through this water as well. OK. 
Okay. I mean, to be fair, it's not actually that far that we've got to go back, but it's far enough that it's just annoying. And it doesn't help that the animations and everything's just so slow. Literally got to go three feet down the road, but it takes you five hours to get there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Go get those goodies. Get the goodies. Oh, yeah, we could have just kept going and gone through the open door. But that wouldn't really have saved us a huge amount of time. Okay. Now, goodies. Give me the goodies. So, we've got... Oh, that's just ammo, though, isn't it? I mean, ammo's cool, but... Got a health injector and there's our pristine energy doodad. But I guarantee that is just literally filled up. Yep, that's filled up our inventory. <sighs> because of course it has. Alright. Man. Man, that's so stingy. I think upgrading the capacity of the guns is going to be where it's at. But what happens like when we get a third gun? We're not going to be able to use it. I mean, if we look on on the um, weapon upgrade slot thing, there's like potentially another three weapons to get. There can't be. You don't have the inventory for it. There's no way. I mean, you're going to have to get it expanded gonna have to. Hundred percent. Alright. So there's a doodad. Right, let's go sell. UJC printing at your service. Alright, thank you. Um we shall probably sell those. Because we just don't have space for them. To sell those. Maybe that's how you make most of your money in this game. Because you've got to sell all the supplies that you need. Because you can't carry them all. Maybe this game just gives you too much stuff. S uh, more ammo. I mean, I... Uh, we can sell it, I guess. Don't appear to get anything for. Oh, look, these things have regrown. That's interesting. There's no point destroying those, like, spotty polyp thingies, because they just come back. Good to know, I guess. So. What was that? That was hand cannon ammo. Uh, I guess we're gonna sell the hand cannon ammo. UJC printing. Have a united day. Mm. Maybe even sell some of that too. Is yeah, so if we just keep one spare pack of ammo for each gun we have, and then that gives us four slots for loot and stuff, which we really we are going to need. For all your needs. Now, let's get some upgrades. That does sound good. But I do like the idea of the recharge speed upgrade, although, having said that, Probably upgrading the damage of our stun baton. Yeah, let's do that. Because we've always got the stun baton. Right, that's got us poor again. Um, oh take that as well I suppose and that has given us oh hello <laughs> oh great 
Well, I mean, you know, one way to use a load of ammo, I suppose. Could have been worse. Anyway, we've got a save point there, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and when we come back, uh, hopefully we're going to find some way of upgrading our inventory, because this is just getting, oh, this is getting painful now. <sighs> so, till then, thanks for watching. Thank you.